All right, let me do this real quick. Hey everybody, so it's Rare, welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering why I'm so dewy and glowy and nude-y looking, I went to the new AJ Crimson Beauty Atelier. AJ Crimson, which is a black owned brand owned by a black male uh, makeup artist named AJ Crimson. It is basically an extension, it's like an extension of the brand in and of itself where it is a shop, they sell products, they do makeup, they'll do your makeup, they do beauty classes, it's so nice, it's really chic, really modern, they sell AJ Crimson products, they sell skincare from AJ Crimson and from other black owned quality brands that work with black skin. So I went, I originally had an appointment and I was supposed, they had an offering that you go in and you get your makeup done by them. And I originally, the reason why I was going was for that appointment, but it got put back. So when I went, I ended up just continuing to go and I went to go get, um, I was going to go try out the foundations, which I did, as you can obviously tell. I am wearing a couple different shades of the foundation. I did buy the lighter one. I'm going to buy the darker one at some point. And I wear the shades apparently three and four, the AJ Crimson dual skin cream foundation so this is a cream foundation it is extremely dewy extremely glossy like I keep looking at it like I'm so like I feel shiny but the thing is sweaty oily shiny is always here and always it makes your face kind of droop this is the dewy shiny where it kind of gives you a glowing look but with my like not glowy skin it kind of doesn't work together but they sell, so they sell products, they do your makeup. So I went to get foundation mash and the guy who was doing it, he, they're all makeup artists, there's a bunch of great people. I insta snapped a little bit and I have a bunch of pictures on my camera, but my camera's not playing games with me. So I can't, I'm gonna post the pictures over time. But basically, he ended up, he, as he was matching, he just was like, you only, you take two colors, which is normal for me, you guys know. Um, and he basically just, you know, kept going and did this really nice makeup look with soft, really soft eyebrows. I wish I had some fronts to my brows. The fronts to my brows, you guys know, are like really thin where they're almost not there. So I wish I had a little bit of front to my brow, but I really like it. Um, this lip is two of the matte liquid lipsticks plus a gloss on top. The liquid lipsticks and glosses are like $22. So I only bought the gloss itself, which is called Chris. And I bought one of the liquid lipsticks called Boy Bye, and I'm gonna show them to you real quick right now. So the lip glosses and liquid lipsticks come in this really cool rounded packaging. I'm worried about how it will stand up on my vanity, but otherwise it seems to be kind of cool. Um, and it comes like shrink wrapped. And then this is the dual skin foundation, cream foundation, which they sell palettes of it. So if you're a makeup artist, there are palettes that you can buy, and it comes in this like shrinked the top isn't look it's like a um, plastic wrap on top of it to keep the shininess and this is the cream foundation so let's open the cream foundation first and it comes oh and it comes with a little mirror on the inside which has a film on it I guess and so here's the foundation and this is the shade three I like it so this is really nice. This is really nice because like I really wanted to buy foundations from this brand and at first I was like no no because I can't touch it you know how I feel you guys should never buy things you can't touch. So this is the gloss Chris. They have two, they're regular glosses and they have metallic glosses. So this is Chris. Chris is like a, oh it smells so good but it's like a pinky peachy nude kind of gloss. It's a little bit of golden glitter and you guys I like it. I think it's really nice. And then I got the matte, the matte gloss, velvet matte gloss. I forget what the title of it is, but it's their matte liquid lipstick. And this is in Boy Bye, which is what's lining my lips. Liquid lipsticks don't really have a smell. Boy Bye is matte. And I'm rubbing my finger across it to see if it will move. No movement, nothing on my finger. Good ass matte. We're about to find out what it's like on the skin later on today or tomorrow. The other liquid lip that I'm wearing where Boy Buys the liner and then the middle is like 
Love, it's called Love Jones, and then the girl loss is Chris. So I have to say, I really, really like the skin-like finish on this foundation. Let me zoom you in for a second. So, hello, you're really close now. So if you can see, look how it just, it's really dewy, which I don't like. But look, like, okay, I have, you know, my um, closed comedone issues on this side of my face for the past couple weeks. And you can see, though, it just looks like it doesn't have the colors and doesn't have my color discoloration, but there's just skin. It just, it just looks like skin, and the glow that I have going on is just the dewiness of it. And it's not oily dewy, but I feel like I could set it more to get it more matte, but would I want to? Well, not at the moment. I don't really wear dewy makeup, so, you know. Anyway, so, AJ Crimson. So far, I really like the brand. I met the owner, AJ Crimson, and we did talk for a minute. He's super cool. He's super nice, super aware. He agrees that on my stance that POC brands need to be held up, you know, to pretty high standards. Like, you can't just accept a brand just because it's owned by a black person. It needs to be a black owned brand. Black a black owned brand, a bomb, that is also very, you know, has great quality. Like you can't just support them because they're black owned. There's some shitty black owners. So, you know, stuff like that. You know, it was kind of cool. And he was really like, he's really sweet and really like, you know, intelligent. And I feel bad that his car, <laughs> I feel bad that the only reason I got to meet him was because his car got ticketed. So he came out from the back and I was like, oh shit, that's him. Oh shit, his car getting a ticket. Oh, I've been not saying that because he just got a ticket. <laughs> he was parked right in front. That sucks. Um, but basically, yeah, it was a really good experience. I'm definitely going back. All of my black blogger friends, if you live in LA, can we like get together and then go? Like, let's go. I want to go with my black blogger friends. To my ones that don't live in LA, nigga, you need to come out here. Spence, Myra, Mika, Mika, you live in like the Bay. Come down. Um, Tim, you aren't black, but you're honorary black in my mind. Skeleton, nigga, you need to come down to all y'all need we need to go down here and go to this damn atelier and go take a class or fuck with some shit. Let's do some fun. Let's do let's have fun together and do something cool. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you should go ahead and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at So It's Sparrow. Also, if you like AJ Crimson, you should probably follow them at AJ Crimson on Instagram and Twitter as well. I don't know. They probably have a Facebook. They are a brand. They're probably in a lot of different places, you know. Um, if you like my makeup you should probably tell me in the comments do you not like it do you like the dewy look i don't know i've never been a dewy person but like i want to what do you guys think of me being really really dewy versus super matte with like highlighter and everything what do you think um and if you like this video in particular not just all the ones on my channel but if you like this one in particular go ahead and leave a thumbs up let me know you care and i will see you guys the next time i make a video okay bye